What you feel? Nothing? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish on there. Big one? Fish on there. Oh my gosh. That is oh, a good one. Is feisty now. I think it's pulling the whole grass. Oh my gosh, look at it go. Oh. Right, oh, my gosh, oh my gosh, there's a huge fish on there. What? What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. We've got a hot one on our hands today, but nonetheless, we are both excited to be out here on the lake to do some fishing. Today we're out here, we're gonna be doing some cat fishing, but we're not gonna be using rods and reels. We're actually gonna be setting up some noodles Woo. for catfish. You can call them jugs. They're made out of pool noodles. We don't wanna get y'all confused with noodling and catfish pool noodle noodling. We're not gonna be seeing our hands in any catfish's mouths today, unfortunately, because that sounds a lot of fun and I guess it would be fun to get in the water today. Although yeah. this water is not, it's not very, not very cold and refreshing. It's, it's quite warm, quite soggy and, and nasty. Stinky. But we have a good feeling we're gonna be able to catch some catfish today. We're gonna bait them up along the outside edge of this swampy area here. We have a bunch of these grass mats and we're thinking that's gonna provide um, ample cover and an ambush point for these catfish to be hanging out in. There's a lot of shad out here too. But instead of using shad or worms or minnows, you know, normal bait that we normally would, we're actually going to be using a bag of some cooked shrimp. It's been a long time since, since we've used uh, <laughs> shrimp for catfish. Um, they work pretty well for uh, channel catfish and bullheads, which those are the two target species that we're after today. If you're gonna go out and try to use shrimp for, for like blue catfish or flatheads, you're probably not gonna have much luck. But we're both quite confident that we're gonna be able to get the job done with some cooked shrimp today. You know, our livelihood actually depends on it. If we don't catch any catfish tonight, then we're not gonna be able to eat. What? So we're both gonna have to do our best to pick out the best spots to put these noodles and bait them up as well as we can with these shrimp. But guys, we hope y'all are excited to join along with us on this catfishing adventure. If so, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing missions. But with that being said, we've got a bunch of catfish noodles to set. Let's go catch some biggins. what our pool noodle catfish rig looks like. We have a pool noodle, and we have some drop line on it, and then we have a four-aught circle hook, and then we also have a one-ounce weight. So we're about to bait it up with a piece of shrimp, throw it over the side of the boat, and hopefully when we come back, we will have a big one on the end of the line. Looks good. I'd say just toss it out right here on the edge of this grass mat. Okay. Probably a good spot. Nice. So anything that's underneath this grass mat or out there in the swamp, they'll smell that shrimp, they'll come out and get it. And hopefully they don't take the noodle back up underneath the grass mat. Oh yeah. If one does that, <laughs> it's a monster. <laughs> hey, but we're good with that. We'll take a monster. All right, let's bait up the rest of these noodles. Well, we just baited up the last noodle. We have a really nice spread covering a big area out here and uh, we're feeling pretty optimistic that we're gonna be catching a catfish pretty soon. You know, we were thinking about just going back to the house and just chilling for a little bit while they were setting, but um, while we were out here, we actually saw some bass schooling. So I think we're gonna grab some bass fishing gear and fish for some bass while we're waiting on these catfish to bite the shrimp. I can't think of a better way to sit here and wait for those to go off than to just actually be out here fishing. So let's grab our bass fishing rods and let's see if we can catch a couple bass. Got him, Jay? You got him, Jay? That's a big one. That oh is a God. big one. That's a big bass. We just got out here. Woo! Woo Man, didn't even get the camera out. <laughs> and Jay's already hooked up with the bass. Whoa! Oh my gosh, he almost jumped in the boat. Come on, just jump on in the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is oh, a good he one. He is feisty now. Yeah. I mean, dang. Dang, what a fish. Woo! He is just pulling drag. Okay. Come, Come on, on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Come here. Oh! Gosh! There we go! Wow! Whoa! You guys didn't see it, but this dude just smoked my clout worm. Yeah, that's crazy. What a nice fish. I was looking off into the distance at our noodles. Yeah, so we... We think we, we, think we have a fish on a noodle out there. I was just kind of messing around and... Oh, he 
He came up and destroyed it. That was awesome. Yeah, we literally just got out here. We grabbed our basket like we said we were going to do. And we were looking out and we think we see a noodle swimming. So we're like, crap, we got to get that noodle. But Jay made a cast. And before she reeled it in, this big old guy ate it. Woo! What a nice bass. That it's was like a, awesome. It's like a three pounder. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Let's get one more look at that guy. His forehead looks kind of weird. He's got, a, he's, he's got a weird head on him. Look at that. Yeah. It looks like a shovel. It's like a spade head. Nice ah. fish, Jay. Gotta love that. Waiting on the noodles to go off and we got a bass and we think we have a noodle that has a fish on it. Heck yeah, that's exciting. Nice. Woo! All right. See you later. Well, Jay caught that one on our first cast. Let's see if I can get one on my first cast. Oh, yeah, look at it. We're just going to keep an eye on that noodle for a second while there's some bass biting. And then we're going to head over there and go grab it. Oh, it's booking it. Oh, we better go. Yeah. Ah, oh, fish on. Fish on. Okay, we can go up here and get this fish in. Woo hoo hoo. <laughs> broke out the, we broke out the spinning rods today. Oh, that's a nice one. It is nice. Woohoo! Nice. We got a fish on our noodle. We got a bass on the line right here. Dang, it's hard to choose. Do we bass fish or do we go cat fishing? <laughs> nice. Come here, big guy. Just gonna pick you up. First cast magic. How about it? You caught one of your first casts, got one of my first casts. It's not as big as one you caught, but that's still so much fun catching them on light tackle, throwing that six cents clout worm. And literally, I am watching this noodle out in front of us just scream across the top of the water. There's no telling what's on there. Hopefully it's a big catfish. We're gonna let this bass go and we're gonna go down and chase that noodle down. And then um, depending on what's happening out there, we might come back to catch some more bass while we're waiting on the noodles to keep going off. <laughs> that is awesome. Woo! Sick. Send it back. Bye. So here we go. We just let that bass go. Heading to go get this noodle. It's moving pretty good, it looks like. Hopefully we're not getting juked out. It's definitely not where we put it. It looked like it was getting sent down a little canal up there. It's a yellow noodle, so we can see it pretty good. And I just hope that it's not like a like a radiated slider or a river cooter or a map turtle or something. I hope it's a catfish. I don't care if it's a bullhead. Oh, if it was a grinnel, that'd be sick. Wouldn't be able to eat it though for dinner. So hopefully it's a channel cat. All right, moment of truth. Is there a fish on there? What you feel? Nothing. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. On there. Big one? There's a fish on there. He's under the boat. Under the boat? Is he big? He doesn't feel that big yet. What we got? Where is he? <laughs> Whoa! Yes! Whoa! Yes! Whoa! That's bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Dang. How about it? Wow. We somehow got in a mess. That's okay. You know, it's okay to be in a mess because we have got our target species in the boat. How about it? That's a really nice one. Perfect eaten size channel catfish. Probably about three pounds or so, and he fell victim to the old trusty shrimp. <laughs> How about that? Woohoo! Mission accomplished. Well, I guess we need a few more than just that one. But if we get desperate, we can both just eat off this guy tonight. <laughs> nice fish. Hey, and we've actually already caught three fish today, so. I guess so, two bass and one channel catfish. <laughs> if we get extra desperate, we can keep some bass, but I don't think we're that desperate yet. No. <laughs> I guess let's put him in the boat, and then let's go check some more of our noodles to see if we have any more fish. Yeah. Mm. We did not put that needle there. <laughs> Homeboy has got himself tucked up here in this log. Please be a big one. I feel weight. <gasps> He's pulling. Yes! <gasps> yes! What? what? Yeah! Are you serious? I'm serious. We've got twins in the boat now. Look we got at two, that one. We've got two channel cats. Look the exact same. Yeah. How about that? Perfect hook set. That's why I like the circle hooks right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful channel cat. How about that? On the shrimp. Who would have thought we'd be slaying them on the shrimp? In the middle of the day. In the middle of the day. Hottest part of the day. Just turn that hook out. All right. Second fish. Let's hold them up side by side so you can see them. I think this might be a little bit bigger. Can't tell. Look at that. Basically twins. Hey, but now we got one for me, one for you. How about it? Woo! That's Let's go see if we have any more. Here we go. We just saw this red one right here bouncing on the edge of this grass. Fish try to take it up under there. Jason, get up in there. Hopefully, it's a monster. <laughs> we got two channel cats already in the boat. Let's see if we can get our third one. Oh dear. How's it feel? Whoa! Oh, there he is. It's a mud cat. <laughs> oh, a nice one too. Yeah, not a bad fish. Wow. Goodness gracious. Bullhead. It looks like he choked it. 
Yeah, he did. He did not get the circle hook the way he's supposed to. He just gobbled it down. He's bleeding everywhere. Oh, goodness. Wow. Well, we're definitely not going to be releasing him. Yeah. <laughs> the way he's got that thing gobbled up. Uh -huh. So let's, I guess, get him off the hook. Let's add him with our other boys. <laughs> nice. All right, this other red one definitely has a fish on it. Hopefully it's not another mud cat. Yeah, we don't mind the mud cats, but we would prefer the big old channel cats. I think he's pulling the whole grass. Oh, gosh, look at it go. Oh, dear. How's he feel? In... Oh, gosh. Oh. It's, a... <laughs> it's another mud cat. He'll eat. He'll eat. <laughs> Man. Dang, that's a decent size one. Though. I know. We're catching good ones today. Two mud cats slash yellow bullheads on red noodles. You wouldn't think that they'd be, uh, they'd be selecting the color noodle they wanted, but it seems to be the case. <laughs> Red is definitely the mudcat color. And yeah, maybe if they're in a grass mat like that, it's a mudcat. Yeah. Like that hook just came right out. Did it? Yeah. That's what you want though. Let's go look at the side of him. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Good eating size. Nice. He'll eat. For a good while we've been running these noodles off and on um, but unfortunately we haven't caught any more catfish which is kind of surprising considering we caught four on the first run but you know that's all right because four is plenty that's all we need for a nice catfish dinner tonight as i run jay into a tree right there <laughs> but there is one more noodle we have to check it's up here in this grass net we're going to check it see if maybe we can get some last uh, catfish noodle magic going on but if not we have a nice haul of catfish and we're going to take them home get them cleaned up and get them ready to cook all right, pulling it. Oh my gosh, there's a huge fish on there. What? No, 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 I'm not even kidding. What? I'm not even kidding, there's a huge something on here. No way. That thing just took off, look at what? it. What? Oh, hopefully it's huge. Feels not that huge, feels decent though. It is a channel cat! What? Yeah! The very last one. How about it? I noticed that it was pulled up in that grass mat kind of weird. And I was like, there's probably a fish on there. And we got it to it and it went bonk. Dang. I thought it was gonna be bigger than that, but that's perfect. We got three nice channel cats now. That's a perfect fish. Perfect way to end the catfish noodle on session. Take a look at that, guys. That is a perfect size channel catfish. We are stoked about that. Five nice catfish on the noodles. How about it? Heck yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. All right, let's see this guy down here in the boat. And uh, I guess let's make our way back to the house and let's get these guys cleaned up. All right, guys. So we're back here at the house. We've been letting the catfish sit here in this cooler of ice for a while. And now it's time for us to clean them up. Let's pull one of our fish out. Oh, shoot. Take a look at this bad boy. Another look at one of our nice channel cats on the day. We got three channel cats, two mud cats, and uh, we're just going to clean them here with the electric fillet knife like we normally do. And we're going to make some awesome catfish fillets on the grill tonight for supper. So let's clean this fish up and uh, let's get to cooking. <laughs> got this catfish all cleaned up and now we are ready to grill them. We came down to Granny's house to use her gas grill. We just didn't feel like uh, lighting up the charcoal grill today. We were ready to eat right now. We're starving. So anyways, we got two different recipes here. We got a hot and spicy recipe here. It's got some Slappy Mom and some hot sauce. And then this one here is just kind of a more mild lemon pepper recipe. It's just lemon pepper marinade, nothing fancy. And then inside of here, we've got some more garden fresh veggies. We got a little mix of some squash, some peppers, and what else is in there? Some eggplant? I think that's it. Squash, peppers, and eggplant. This will be our first time having grilled eggplant this year. Hopefully it's good. We haven't had that in a while. I don't remember if I like it or not, but time will definitely tell, won't it, Jay? Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll go ahead and throw those veggies on there. The grill is already hot, it seems. So we'll just throw these guys on here and out of the way. Let me just put them back here. Let them have that burner. And then we're going to lay these catfish fillets out on this sheet of foil right here. We'll lay that down and we'll just grab a few of these fish and get them cooking. Ooh, look at that. Lemon peppery goodness. Let us know down in the comment section if you prefer a lemon pepper marinade or you know, something kind of mild or if you like it hot and spicy. We love both ways. Now we'll just add our hot and spicy mix here. Load it down with Slappy Mama. That's gonna, that's gonna bring some heat, I think. Oh yeah. All right, that looks good. We'll close the grill on them. 
And those bad boys should be ready in, I don't know, six, seven minutes or so. We'll keep an eye on it and uh, we'll keep you posted. Let's take a look at our process in here. Ooh, look at that. I ended up putting our fish up here on this top rack. Um, I forgot to spray that aluminum foil. So I went on ahead and put those guys up there so they wouldn't stick to it. And they look really dang good. And our veggies, they seem to be doing pretty good nuts. and be super hot out. Yeah, those look pretty good. Probably let them sit a little bit longer, but I think we're about ready to take the fish off. We don't want to dry them out. Those spicy fish look really good. Mmm. Can't wait to try that. Feast your eyes on that, fellas. That looks amazing. What you think that about that, Jay? delicious. We got our spicy fish here on this plate, and then some of our grilled veggies here. Very anxious to try the eggplant. I haven't had any eggplant in a while. And here's a plate with the lemon pepper, catfish, and then some more veggies. Just doing fish and veggies tonight. Fish and veggies. Which one do you want to go for? I'm going for the spicy. Going for the spicy? Dibs on the spicy. All right, she's got first <laughs> dibs on that. If it's really delicious, I might have to try a piece. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> what you think, big boss? Mm -hmm. Sloppy mama wins again? <laughs> yep. Awesome. Yeah, I'm totally going to eat all this. <laughs> try that orange pepper. That's a, that's a new pepper we haven't tried yet out of our garden. It was like this long, kind of skinny orange. It's supposed to be a sweet pepper. Any good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that's real good. Awesome. I'm not for sure if I like grilled eggplant. I do. You do? Mm-hmm. Great. That's good. <laughs> that is the really first good. that's the first of many eggplants that are about to be um ripe in our garden. <laughs> we have so much eggplant, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. It's a ton. But dang, this fish. So good. Great. Mm. That's really good to hear because I am just as hungry and excited as you are to dig into my plate. So like Jay, I'm gonna start off with the fish. I really wanted some lemon pepper fish today. I don't know why, usually I'm, I'm all about the hot and spicy, but for some reason I think that it's just being hot today on the lake, I wanted something a little bit more mellow. So we got lemon pepper, catfish. Let's see how it tastes. Super lemony, really, really delicious. The fish meat is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was like, we cut the sides off those fish and like rinsed them off and immediately like threw them on the grill. That's how quick we did that. We normally let them sit for a little bit, but but we just couldn't wait. We were so hungry. That was delicious. Get a spoonful of these veggies. I'm going to get the eggplant and our new little orange pepper here. Straight out of the Colin J garden. Let's see how this tastes. It looks really good. Mm. <laughs> That's good. That is really good. I'm excited because we have a bunch of these peppers coming on on our pepper plant and a bunch of eggplants. We promise we're going to show you guys the garden at some point. We just got to figure out a way to work it into a video. But that is fantastic. Get a little squash. Mmm. Nothing beats summertime veggies. It's so good. And so good for you. I mean, this is a really healthy meal here. Yeah. Packed in protein, packed in whatever vegetables are full of nutrients, and antioxidants. Then you got your Dr. Pepper. I know, I was about to say that. But then you got yourself <laughs> sweet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> we're chasing our Dr. Pepper down with veggies, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're going to conclude today's catch and cook video. We had a great time out on the lake, obviously going out and catching those catfish. You know, setting up noodles is such an easy and primitive way of going out and catching catfish, but it always seems to work. No matter mm -hmm. what you bait it with, as long as you have the patience to let it sit out there, you're probably gonna get bit eventually. And it's just, you know, super effective because you can lay a big old spread of them and get as many catfish as you need for dinner. And in this case, it was only five catfish and we have plenty extra we can cook up for the next couple of nights but anyways like i said this is where we're gonna end today's episode we hope you guys enjoyed this one if you would like to see more catfishing content let us know down in the comments section and if you enjoyed this video do us a huge favor by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures we're calling jay and we'll see you on the next one bye guys